every state has. Yeah. But, but you've seen a lot of success. In yes. Right. Yeah, we have. We've seen we've seen some great advances in liberty, and we've we've stopped the growth of those. Uh, you know, Mark talks about this, the, the libertarian veto, the fact that every other state, the growth of government is continuing unabated because we, we don't have a really strong libertarian caucus in the legislature. We do, we do in New Hampshire, and that helps block almost everything that grows government. Uh, so we're, we're working on that now, but eventually we're going to want to just take some power back to the feds. Yeah. And, and so we need, a, we need a movement here in New Hampshire for a greater economy for this state, greater self-government. I agree, and that's why I'm so excited about the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence, uh, Foundation for New Hampshire Independence, which is a think tank that was formed by some free state project participants and maybe some New Hampshire natives, I'm not real sure who else on the board. Uh, but they're out there talking about New Hampshire being an independent place and getting out from the United States, um, and that's something that's happening here. Uh, we've also got the New Hampshire Liberty Party, which is running political candidates such as Daryl Perry and myself, Conan. Uh, who are also advocating for secession. Let's start talking about it. Let's get the idea out there. I don't think it's too soon. I mean, some people, oh, don't talk about that. <laughs> That's scary. Why not talk about exactly. it? Exactly. I, I think we should talk about it. Full disclosure, I, if independent, you have to have been on the ballot right now, I'd vote against it. But I think we should talk about it. I think there should be a right to secede for everybody. Sure. And, uh, and we should talk about it. And, uh, and just talking about it opens up the possibility. Absolutely, and you can speak it into reality. So here you are at the 11th Porcupine Freedom Festival. I presume you've been to all 11? No, I haven't. I missed two. You missed two, okay. So but you've seen the growth over the yes. years, and how how blown away are you by all this? It's pretty impressive, right? Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, you, know, you start something with, with these numbers, 20,000, whatever, mm -hmm. and you have no idea what that's going to look like. I, I had no visualization. Uh, thousands of people actually being in one place, thousands of libertarians actually getting together. No one had ever seen that in the history of the world. <laughs> uh, and, and now here at, at uh, Orkfest, it's a small city of libertarians for, uh, for now it's something like nine days that people are people are connected. Yeah. The time is getting longer too. <laughs> so. It has begun and it's a lot of fun as more people keep moving here and bringing their talents and the, you know what they they do for a living and business and activism all to the table. I think we've got, I talked to Mark Ward and something like three dozen at least free staters who are running for state office this year, so wow. that's exciting. Impressive. Jason Sorens, thanks for coming on Free Talk Live here tonight. We're going to continue with uh, Lynn Ulbricht. She is the mother of Ross Ulbricht, who we've talked a lot about here on Free Talk Live. That's coming up next.